Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about a lot of stuff. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hello Frederick, this is a three part question. I'm about to finish up the last project of my full stack certificate from Free Code Camp. Once done, I'm going to continue evolving as a dev by building custom projects custom projects. Would you recommend developing in TypeScript and only TypeScript, TypeScript for every big project from here on? Also, I decided that I would develop in Redux considering that it seems to be more of an industry standard over React hooks. What would you recommend in the stage management department? Lastly, we learned MongoDB during the course. Would you recommend developing my next projects in Postgres to learn SQL or master MongoDB? Thank you. So let's do quick fire. Uh, first and foremost, number one, uh, yes, TypeScript. Uh, use TypeScript for literally every single larger endeavor in JavaScript that you're doing, uh, be it Node, front end, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if a, a, It's not to the point where TypeScript is expected of you for every single job, but it is, it is at the point where it's getting to that point now. There is, I don't see TypeScript going like into less relevance, it's just gonna rise to the point where it's become, I mean even today, most if not all of the libraries that you're gonna use. Or will have TypeScript support, so just use it. It is the best thing since sliced bread. I shit you. I kid you not. Uh, second question: State management. Like I, you're saying, React hooks here. So I, I think that you're specifically thinking about the context API, like the support for that, uh, because like React hooks is a little bit like it's a different thing. Like it's a bigger thing. Uh, and sure, yes, you are right. Even though there is a like a perfectly good API for basically implementing all of the niceties that we have in, say, Redux, Redux is still, uh, uh, except for maybe MobX, but I, for most, like Redux is, I think, still the primary choice. Like the, it's the default choice for a lot of people. Uh, and I still, I don't think that that's going to change anytime soon. And I think that you should just stick with it. Uh, the reason being that, although yes, you can build practically everything you want, like anything that you can do, anything you want to do with Redux, you can also do with the Context API or similar, like MobX or whatever. It's just it doesn't really matter if you switch between between if you pick MobX or Redux, but let's just say Redux for the sake of argument. The reason why I argue for it is because there are a few niceties with it, such as the the uh, Redux uh, Chrome tool or like the developer tool, uh, and the like just that from a debugging perspective is a very good thing. And there might be performance things and so forth that I like I'm not an expert or anything like that. There are certainly articles out there that you can look at that's going to compare these two things to, uh, to between each other but at the same time I'm just going to tell you this if you really know what you're doing and I don't think like I'm I'm just going to say that after one code camp I don't think you know uh, using the context API is fine because I mean in a, in a sense you could actually reduce your overall payload because you have one less dependency but that's as I said it comes with the trade-off of okay now you don't have that uh, have us a few of the redux niceties that comes with using redux because there are things like there are add-on things such as say if you want uh, to use local storage or you want to use redux persist or something like that uh, it, it, I, I will say that I think that Redux is still a nicer choice than just using the like the context API, unless unless you are you really know what you're doing and you're doing it for a very specific reason. Third and lastly, uh, as for using MongoDB or post going into Postgres, to, like I will tell you right now, like before the end of your career, it's a very good thing for you to know, like a there's probably no better thing for you to learn than MongoDB, which is like, in terms of like NoSQL databases, because for most applications that you're going to work with, you're not. It's not going to be super necessary for you to learn something like 
a graph database as an example. They're very cool and they're awesome in so many ways, but it's just not the common thing in terms of NoSQL databases. But MongoDB is and flavors off a doc like what which what is in essence a document database. They're very popular. So MongoDB is a good for it's probably the most standard thing for Node.js development and JavaScript development overall. As for, and the second thing is like Postgres and or MySQL or Oracle DB or MSSQL or like oh, there's tons of these and yes learning a relational database is a very very good investment because even though MongoDB is a very popular database relational databases is still the norm in many 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 companies. Uh, so it's kind of hard to say yeah the one or the other you can't you before it's a good investment to learn both but what I want to ask you first is do you feel comfortable with MongoDB if you've had one if you've done this for if you've taken this one course I I'm not sure that it's uh, like that you have matured your understanding of MongoDB just yet but if you feel like you know the basic commands and maybe you know how to create indexes etc etc then sure go and try Postgres but otherwise continue practicing with MongoDB until you at the very least can do like the crop stuff uh, by heart or with like minimum like I mean even I have to go and look up the syntax like I can never remember the exact syntax for everything when I'm doing queries in MongoDB or in the, I mean, even what it doesn't really matter what it is. I mean, if full disclosure, warts and all, I look, I still look up the query, the commands for Postgres or if uh, it's uh, MySQL or whatever, if I can't remember it. And the same thing with MongoDB. Shit, I, I look up regexes sometimes or like so forth. And this is natural. It's really down to can you formulate a query in this database either from memory or within a very short time like with a little bit of googling you kind of just figure it out and hey there it is if that is the t if that is the st case uh, then yes start using postgres but don't try to be a master of everything too early cuz i mean if you've done one course let things ferment a little bit get your bearings learn how to do things well in one stack and when you kind of know that stack and you feel like yeah this I kind of I already know how to do that stuff then move on to the next thing and then yes Postgres would be a very good choice so what I want you to take away from this is that TypeScript very good thing invest in it invest in it heavily it is uh, I can only see it continuing taking over the JavaScript community to the point where it will be like just yeah it's the thing that everybody uses it's getting to that point right now it's not a hundred percent dominating the entire like everything but it's not far off second thing is yes use redux uh, I it's I don't see that remove getting uh, <laughs> being removed from the react ecosystem ever anytime soon even though it doesn't really have to be used anymore because we have support for the functionality within the actual library itself it still has benefits and other libraries that are relevant and a lot of companies are like still on Redux so it's still a very good choice as for picking between MongoDB and Postgres always have this rule do I know this thing well enough that I can be productive in it without a lot of effort or like a lot of googling and like guessing and so forth when you reach that point move on to the next thing and if you are at that point yeah go over and take a look at Postgres because learning a, a, in a document database such as MongoDB is a very good investment but so is learning a relational database it's really hard to say that one is better than the other maybe a relational database a little, is a little bit more important depending on the stack but if you're doing Node.js and like all of this stuff that you're already talking about then MongoDB is like the it's the standard choice relational database much more common in like Java enterprise uh, C sharp etc etc both of these I think are very good investment but make sure that you know them before you try to learn everything have a great day